Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to update the software on your iPhone using your Windows computer. So the first step is you will need to download iTunes, so I'll leave the link in the description. Go here, you want to scroll down and you see you're looking for other versions, Windows, and then click this one. Download for, uh, iTunes for Windows Now 64-bit, click on this, and then the download should start. Wait for this download to finish, and then click on the .exe and set up iTunes on your computer. Once you've done this, I want you to open up the iTunes application, and the next step is you need to connect your iPhone to the computer. So get the original charging cable and then plug that into your computer. And once you've done this, you will see this message. Do you want to allow this computer to access information on and then your device name? Click on continue and then check your iPhone. And you just need to tap on trust when you see the message. And if prompted, you will need to enter in the passcode you use to unlock your device. Now you just need to give it a couple of seconds and you should see your iPhone pop up right here. And you see here, a new iPhone software version is available. And what you can do here is click on download and update or download only. If you don't see this message, we'll close out this. Click on your iPhone first. And you're going to see here, uh, update. You can click on this and it will check for any software update. And then you can see here, you'll see this message. iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 15.2 and verify the update with Apple. So all you do is click on update. It will need to download the firmware first. The firmware is a very large file size, so it may take a little bit. And once that's done, it will update your iPhone to the latest software version. Now, sometimes this will glitch out and the download will keep on failing. So if you're in that situation, what you want to do is you want to go back to the web uh, browser and you'll head to ipsw.me. And this essentially will allow you to download the firmware file. So you just want to select your device. So I have iPhone 10. If you have an uh, option between GSM and Global, doesn't matter which one you use, the firmware file is the same. So we'll click on this one. And you see a sign IPSWs. You just want to select any firmware which is in the sign IPSWs area, click on it, and then click on the download, and then wait for this download to complete. And then once this is completed, inside of iTunes, so you want to hold down Shift, and while you're holding down Shift, you want to left click Update. So make sure Shift is held down on one finger, then the other finger left click uh, Update. Now once you do this, it'll bring you to the downloads page. You just want to click on download. Then you want to find that firmware file, select it, and then that will update you to the software version, which you downloaded manually. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.